Uh, hello today again, people. We're playing Metal Slug Super Vehicle Dash 001. Kind of a stupid name for a game, but Metal Slug I'll agree with. But Super Vehicle must have been named by Japanese people. But uh, if you like Contra, you'll like this game, obviously. I mean, you basically have a pistol and you, you don't start with a machine gun like in Contra. No, 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 no. no. The animation on this game's great. I always thought the animations were funny, and they always are funny. I mean, you come up on people like using the restroom or friggin' sitting around the campfire, roasting a pig. And they're always completely unaware of your presence, even though, like, probably about 10 yards away, you're just, like, murdering everybody in front of you. Must be the dumbest soldiers I've ever met. <laughs> Plus you got all these bonus items that kind of uh, goes back to good old video game days, but this is classic gaming, so. And this is a Neo Geo game, and Neo Geo was insanely fucking expensive, and it's why I never had one. I believe the Neo Geo system itself was like 600 bucks when, <laughs> when it first came, when it came out, and the cartridges. We, you was basically buying a fucking arcade machine. Neo Geo had arcade sticks, and they had a ton of fighting games, 2D fighting games. I don't think it ever had... Uh, I don't think it ever had, like, Street Fighter or any of those games. It had its own King's... Whatever. I forget the name of it. Doesn't matter. The point is, people complain about the you know, price of games today, and back then, you know, our our prices were like freaking $230 a game for this, and then for cartridges, it was like 70 bucks for a brand new game. Crazy, right? Now, now we're getting 30 and $50, $60 for a game, so... I'm not complaining. I was a gamer in the 90s and 80s, so <laughs> you was lucky. To, you was lucky to get your parents to convince you to buy two games a year. Most of the time, you spent looking for places to rent video games, standing there looking at the rack of all these video games. And just being completely blown away by the fact that, oh my god, I'm gonna get that one. Duck! And I die. Well, no, I don't die, I jump out. But. Back to this game. Stop reminiscing, I guess. This level is already over. I mean, this game. It's not like Contra Contra kind of takes itself seriously. This game does not take itself seriously in the slightest. Uh, obvious. I mean, just the ending of this game, the, the last boss. Uh, you ever played it? It's just like something you would not absolutely not expect to happen happens. And I was sitting there playing it with a friend, uh, Charlie, at the time. And I don't want to really ruin it for anybody. Of course, I don't think I really am ruining it for anybody. But you're sitting there playing it, and all of a sudden, you beat you beat the last boss with it, which is a giant floating saucer thing. And you're like, you know, it kind of reminds me of uh, Independence Day. I'm like, I'm like, wouldn't it be cool if a airplane just came out of nowhere and flew flew right up the middle of it? And lo and fucking behold, that's what happened. And me and Charlie are just sitting there laughing our asses off, like, I can't believe that just fucking happened, or the fact that I just called that. <laughs> but the, uh, weapons in the game ain't very reminiscent of concert guns, because you don't get a spread gun, you get a shotgun. The shotgun is, isn't really a shotgun, it doesn't have a spread, like, bullets that fire out straight ahead of you, it has this, like, little burst of fire that right in front of you, it's really short range, but it destroys lots of stuff. Another thing that annoys me about this game is you have to jump up to shoot down. And to aim, you kind of have to miraculously push your <laughs> gun, um, push forward and press up at the same time. 
to aim up. To aim straight up, you have to jump up and press up. <laughs> it's kind of weird. They maybe they could learn something from Contra on that part, but uh, as you can tell, there's usually a lot of action on the screen. There's usually really big enemies, and there's not just they just don't save the big enemies for bosses. Yeah, it's funny. If you if uh, if you don't kill the guy, that one guy, he's sitting there trying to crank water out of the boat while the boat's tipped straight up in the air. But the enemies are completely stupid, but they're funny, stupid. So and there's usually a lot of them on screen at once, all throwing shit at you, so it can get pretty hairy. Yep, see, there's a guy cranking water. He's dead. I really hate the guys who crawl in their stomach because you can absolutely not hit them. You have to wait for them to get close and knife them. And they all pretty much have their own little unique role that they have to... I don't like the guys with the right shields. Uh, tank. I'm hearing the tank theme music in my head right now. You beat a tank with a machine gun. Here's one of those crazy bosses. Why in the fine hell would you have a tank that's on tracks inside side a building? I don't know, maybe it's just the perspective that's kind of screwed up. But it doesn't look like there's any end to those track. Up oh, there it goes. Never mind, it's already dead. That's not even the boss, actually. <laughs> I don't really like that weapon it has where you shoot really slow moving projectiles. Let's run right through all those. And here's the boss coming up. Or you end up getting on another train, I believe, and fighting an airplane. Very small airplane. A very low flying airplane that's able to hover. Yeah, here, we're we're getting to it. We're going, damn. I like how games always tell you you need to go forward. What the hell am I fighting in anyway? There's a train going through apparently an endless An endless uh, warehouse. A really slow flying plane. It has an endless supply of fucking rockets. The only thing I like about this game is the tanks, really. And the humor. The humor's funny. The animation's really good. Not too fond of the music. But if you like. Contra like games I definitely like this one obviously the bosses are all crazy in their own way there is some really unique bosses where uh, there's one you fight climbing up this big ladder and you have this special tank that can climb up with it it's not in this game though it's in one of the, one of the uh, later ones yes I'm trying to take out this plane with a pistol we're going to call of duty this bitch. But uh, anyways. <laughs> that was Metal Slug. Of course there's like six other levels I think. So uh, go download it or go buy it. It's out on PSN so you can go buy it. Anyways, thanks for watching.